I made elaborate intro in my hardpoint video so I will keep it short with time. Legendary lobbies play as bad we make critical mistakes in taking the ABCs, which leads to losing matches. And in this video I will review 4 domination matches and just showcase what was wrong, what was good, so my viewers could learn and improve their skill and if we meet in lobbies I will not have to worry about losing. In short, the progression of the domination match is that first you take your point, then you take the B, and then you have to secure your point and B, or just two points, because if any mistake your point, then you can take theirs, but the goal is to t have two for as long as possible. Failing to capture and hold two points leads to losing the match, because enemies get more blues. Now, it does not mean that you have to rush all the time, if you want to snipe or like be passive with some gun and camp caustics, you can do that. However, you should only do that after taking the second point. So my suggestion would be to start the match with a fast loadout, and once B is taken you can switch. And then again if you see that enemies have two points, and your camping is not helping, you switch to an aggressive loadout, take it and then switch back. This way you can get both your sniper montage and victory. Another important suggestion is to savor your expensive score streaks for the second part of the match, because 1. It is when things get heated, and 2. Even if you manage to get your advanced UAV, VTOL, whatever in the first part, it does not mean that you will successfully do so in the second. So just keep them for later. And now the matches. What I usually do in the first part of the match is I don't stay in the main point and our point, I just run through it to give some blues and then rush to B. And there I dropped Molotov just to secure the entry, like if enemy is pushing it will be, I will be notified. And now I'm taking B. Teammates, we aren't really focused on that as much, but we are nearby, which is good. I have the B, now I want to push around and just make it harder for enemies to reach it. One enemy is pushing. I got sniped from our zone, okay. Now I'm just going back to B because I mean we have two points, I see that C is being taken and I rush towards it. And as you can see I go through B, just to be able to protect it if needed like I just did. And so I go to C, uh, simply because I mean it is our point and I was closer to it, now I get kill, I get two kills, take the C. Uh, in the meantime you can see that enemies took B but my team managed to take A. Now it is good as a temporary fix, but the farther away points we get retaken really quickly. So now my focus is to just get the B, and while we hold A it is, it is good of course. Now I managed to get all these cost tricks, the flame knot and stealth chopper, but like I mentioned I will not be using them in this part of the match, because there is high chance that I will not get them again in the second part of the match. And now so my focus is just securing B, and as you can see instead of C now we have A, but like I mentioned it is fine, because 2 points is fine. And of course this was quite intense, enemies are trying to take B, they take B, I try to take it back, I get killed because I was only one pushing B at the time. And now we lose all the points, but we are getting C back and I'm at the B. Now I pushed a bit away because my teammates were not near, so I just, like, I don't want to stand still. And I got killed. Now we have no points, but I spawned at the A, so might as well take A. And the match at the moment is quite even, but like, we really need to take a second point. And this was pretty dumb push from me, but like, I'm rushing. Now I'm protecting the A. Now I kill two people protecting the A. And the match ends. Well, the first half of the match ends. Now the start of the second part, I spend a bit more time on A, just to make sure that it gets taken faster. And we start getting the blue points. And then I rush towards the B, because like I mentioned, we need to have two of the points taken. And I'm alone, and I get killed by a dog. But my teammates, we are kind of pushing B as well, which is good. Now I'm deploying the flame knot, and flame knot in this situation also it was before the nerf so it lasts longer. And now I just have to be a bit passive and walk around so I don't get killed from afar. 
but it helps me just swipe the point. And here so nothing was going on from the enemy side so we decided to do a bit of a push. Because we have two points so I just pretty much just going for kills to unlock maybe some score streak. And also if I kill them it makes it harder of course for them to reach the point. But by doing this I accidentally switched to their spawn and they took A. Which again it was a bit of a mistake from my part to be honest but we managed to capture C because we also get a spawn point. So it's like okay. But yeah, you should not go too deep into the enemy zone, because they will just spawn, spawn on the other side. And now we lost VC, but we almost captured A. And here I made a crucial second mistake, because I did not si sit on VC. I just thought that the teammate will handle it, but the teammate did not handle it. And now we have a beetle on the enemy side. So those two mistakes from my part, I think we kind of cost this match. Because, I mean, I was playing with randoms and like I cannot expect them to do good all the time. And now I did destroy the VTOL. I switched back to the BP50 and the match is kind of pretty much just lost at this point. So yeah, those mistakes. I mean, you can watch the gameplay again and I think that if I manage to take C, Instead of pushing out with equalizer and did not switch the spawn, we would be having more points at this point. And we could have, well, if not one, we at least would have had a better situation in the blues. And now, so I'm just playing just to finish the match, but like I'm not having many hopes. So I just focus on having like two points. And I'm pushing B. I'm losing B, now teammates managed to take C, but we are about to lose A. And now you can see that it does not really matter what we do, we will not be able to take all three points. Which would have helped, but like, it's just way too late. But I'm still going to A, like, as long as the match is not over, I will try to do something. And we lose. And so yeah, enemy team was pretty good, and I'm willing to take this defeat as my accountability, because like I showed, I made two mistakes. And like I checked the team after the match, the skins, the guns that they chose, and this was the match that I had to hard carry. So these two mistakes, they certainly led to defeat, as otherwise it was quite close. Second match, even though there were times that it felt that we would be winning, but we lost, and here... First critical mistake, we did not take our point, everyone went to B. And when the main point is a bit farther away, like not in your way, than going to the middle one, it often happens that no one really tries to take it. Now at the B I die, then I go to A, I take A, and now enemies have two points, we only have one. So now I try to take B as fast as possible, and I go through here because like, it is easier just to reach, enemies don't expect me. And you need to push through different angles to make sure that we just don't anticipate you coming from there. And I killed one guy who was protecting B. Uh, he was quite aggressive, so he was certainly not camping, like he just had to secure B. Because that's what domination is about. Now I defend our point. And B it has some blues, but like, not enough yet, just yet. Now I took shots, so I know that someone is pushing A, and he strategically sat down and I did not notice at first. There were, I think, two people, and we took A, but now I have a Dauntless, which protects me from the Transform Shield, so it is a good pack, actually. And now we have two points. The difference of blues is not that significant, like we can still manage. Now we have three points. And we are about to lose A. Now, since we have two, I'm not pushing A, I just want to protect the B. And I'm kind of succeeding. Now, I thought that there might be some enemy there, so I, took sh so I shot some shots. Now, that was just a bad angle. Here, I accidentally bumped myself. But, like, at the moment, things are still looking good. Until this time when we lost B again. And now we are about to lose C as well. But fortunately the match ended, and the difference is still not that big. 
not to make the same mistake as we made at the start of this match, I go to C right away just so we would have one point at least. And now I have to go to B. Because like I mentioned, you need to have two points. However, at B there is the flame knot. And again, it was also before the nerf. So it is bad. And that situation, that particular like placing in this map for the flame knot I have won some matches where we were about to lose but I just camped there and it really helps. And so I try to push B. Now in this situation I think I should have tried to go for the A. But like I mentioned in previous match going for the other farther away point it is only temporary. So enemies would take it back and in the meantime they would still have B. And at this point yeah it was just a defeat. So pretty much we lost because flame not and because we could not take two points. Despite the first part was close. Now what my teammates were doing I did not really see them on B. I did not notice them taking A. So I really don't know what they were doing. So yeah lesson from this match is just that it is important to have the two points. And that camping is fine if it is like for the victory if you see that it is needed to be done. Now this match the team and I were doing quite well where we, we were all actively pushing the B. Like the players we knew what we were doing, the enemy team was also pretty strong. And here you see I keep on dying, but I don't stop going to B until we take it. Now when we have two points I simply decide to be around B just to protect it as much as I can. I die, what I do is I go right to B again. Now I dropped Molotov there and pushing from the other area just to confuse enemies and because Molotov it is also helping. Like it, it makes it hard for them to take B. Unless we have Dauntless pack which I have on this loadout of course. And so now we are trying to take B but I'm also trying to just protect it. I did not see the other guy and I got killed but we have a B. So the match is going pretty smoothly. And like in this situation if you see that at least two players on your team are actively securing B you could do some campy camp or snipe a snipe. But like everyone here was just being aggressive so I think the best strategy would be to just keep on being aggressive. And you can see the minimap, my, my teammates we are also around, we are being active. If they die we push again. And the first half it is pretty smooth. Like I don't remember, I think that enemies we failed to take B even a single time from us. So again I'm just situating myself nearby. And I keep on protecting it, getting kills, now enemies are trying to take A. And I decide to go to C because it means that we are sitting on A so we can take C instead. As it does not have to be A, we just need to have two points. And I saw my teammates there so I rushed try to be B. Just to protect it, now I got killed but... Bam, we won and I have some ex expensive score streaks as well. Second half of the match, same exact story. Going to take my point and go to the B. And so now enemies we are a bit more aggressive because we don't want to lose which makes sense. I deploy with stealth chopper, I try to deploy but there is another score stick where is with cluster strike. So I, I will deploy it right away as soon as I can, now I am going to B. And I died, that guy with bison he is pretty good. I think I even played with him sometimes. Now the stealth chopper is deployed, I got killed by the chopper while deploying the stealth chopper but it's still out. So we are good. Now I'm just shooting at the sentry gun and basically I have cold blooded on this loadout so it will not shoot me. I just want to remove it so my teammates would not have to be bothered by it. And now I'm just waiting on B and again dauntless I'm not burning. Which helps me taking to take B. Now enemies of course are trying to take it from us but I do the same thing I push B. Now we actually manage to take the B. And what I do is I repeat just go to B again and again. Flame knot, I deploy flame knot of my own. Now I cannot just stand on B because I will ki be killed by the chopper from the building for instance. 
so I have to just make it harder for enemies to reach B and hope that my teammates will take it. And since this was a good team, I know that we will take it. So I'm just like making it easier for them. And th like right after I once I die, I will just be doing other things. And well, even now I think I later pushed out to the B because I saw that it is being taken and I already got enough kills with the flame knot. And like I don't want to just camp because if I'm camping B, you can lose B when I'm just camping there. So like it's uh, I, the flame not served the purpose, I pushed out and we won. And yeah, so this match pretty much showcases how proper domination cause should be. Like how to win. And finally landing a match where enemies were not doing good. And so again I'm doing the same thing, I take my point, I go to B. I get killed by a YouTuber who is using Persistence and MG42. And well, I did not check the channel, I just don't want to like confirm my disappointment. But to use Persistence and just be campy camping, I don't think it is very good, especially for the start of the match. As like I mentioned, first you should take the point, and then you could switch. Now the sniper on the other hand he did go get me good many times, but enemy team has MG42 and a sniper, and there was also this guy with the swordfish who was just camping all the time and getting kills from afar. But like this is already 3 players who are not actively trying to take the points. And the remaining 2 I don't think they were notably good, like they were just caustic food, Fodder for the score streaks and pretty much because of that we were having an edge. Now I did not get as many kills in this match but like I said I kept on getting killed from afar. Ah yeah, the guy with the Fennec he was doing a lot of work, he was probably one of the most impactful players on the enemy side. That one was the Swordfish. But like yeah, now we even have all three points. And the YouTuber, well... He actually tried to go to the B, but often I just saw him being like somewhere far away. And the worst part, it will happen in the second match part, yeah. And now, so at this point, you can just run around, get some kills, because this match part is already over. Like, there is nothing that the enemy team can do. So I'm doing just that, I'm just getting some kills, having fun. Match part ends. And same story begins. So we took our point, I'm going to B. Now, like I told you, on the second part, enemies are usually a bit more aggressive. And my team is like as well, but the losing team will just be more desperate. And now I have a purifier, I wanted to make it harder for enemies to reach B. But we are not even trying to reach B, we are still campy camping. Like that guy, the Spectre, it is actually the YouTuber, just with a manoir now. And I got sniped from afar, but like, we aren't even going to take the points. And this defeat is honestly, the guy with the Fennec, he was trying to actually win. But all the other, at least three of them, and I don't even remember who was the fourth, like what was he doing. So he's probably even worse than these four. And not the fourth, but the fifth. And here I try to take it with Vital. Yeah, so the persistence YouTuber, he finally did something. He got the Vital. And I just simply switch to my FHG loadout and I have to take it down. And now we have all the points taken, but like we still have an edge. So it's not that worrisome just yet. I kill the sniper camper, I go to the point and I want to shoot now the stealth chopper because Vitol was already gone. I get killed by the YouTuber. But you see my team is we are actually playing points, we are playing for the bin. Meanwhile the enemies, the Fena guy, yeah, big shout out to the Fena guy. Like he was really just trying to contribute, trying to win. And I don't know, I would have just been like sad and depressed in such a team, so yeah, big shout out. Swordfish guy, I don't know why, he's he was camping all match. 
And yeah, so we have big edge, we even got all three points. And at this point, like, there is still a chance that enemies would just pull a 360. So kind of, I have to keep on being active, I cannot just stand somewhere. But it is not as demanding of, like, what to do. There is less thought process involved, I just have to run around, get kills and make sure that we have at least two points. And soon even one would have been enough. What was that guy? Wait, I have to pause talking. Yeah, I checked it was some guy with a Type 19 and I barely ever noticed them during this match. And now I did something incredibly unsportsmanship like. But I mean, persistence, VTOL and camping, no, I had to do this form of an execution to the YouTuber. And so yeah, I think that these four matches we illustrate the do's and don'ts, the principles of the strategy and what not quite well. And that is why I chose exactly these matches. And I sincerely hope that you have learned something. And that if we end up in a lobby you will be doing better than you were before. I mean even good players we always have room to improve. So yeah.